Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm working on getting the intercooler fitted into the front of the truck behind the grill. There's a couple modifications I'm gonna have to make to the radiator support. So the first step was to remove the grill. I had to remove the eight screws and then it popped right out. thing I had to do was take off the hood latch, the center support bracket. I think there were eight bolts on that. Pretty easy to take off. and that's left me with this now. I'm gonna have to cut this bracket right here and right here for the piping to be able to pass through. Same thing on this side. Here and here, we'll remove this part so I can get the intercooler right up close to the radiator. Bottom's still pretty strong. Top has a little bit of wiggle to it, but once the grill gets bolted in there, it'll be fine. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. So there's what it looks like. After those pieces have been removed, I'll come back with a flap wheel and sand those down smooth. But now the next thing holding me up, this little lip right here, it's gonna have to be notched back here and notched right here, back to this piece. And then we're gonna have to cut that out to make room. It's a really tight fit getting this intercooler in here, but it'll be worth it in the end. I'm gonna do this on both sides. Okay, so as you can see, I got the parts cut out, cleaned up, and I'm getting ready to TIG weld them up. So there is the bracket all welded up. I mocked it up inside of the radiator support, and I marked where I need to drill my holes. I'm going to drill them. And then I'm going to make the top brackets 
and then I have to make a new center section here. Okay, so I debated on how to run these intercooler pipes, and I think the best thing that I found that I'm going to do is just run a 90 degree coupler off the inlet and off the outlet. So the coupler is going to fall exactly right on this rail here. So what I'm going to do is get a 4 inch hole saw and just cut right through that rail and through the piece of sheet metal behind it. I didn't want to do this originally because the charcoal canister is behind this side and the radiator overflow is behind this side. So I didn't want to have to move those, but after looking at this, to the only other option would be to make the pipe come through that hole and that hole. But to make this angle here, it's going to be a little bit tricky because I'd have to try to cut this support at an angle and then try to cut the back side of it too. So the easiest thing to do is just to hole saw that, put the 90s on there, and then that'll get the intercooler pipes right inside where I can get to them pretty easily. One will be there and one will be right where the overflow is on the other side. So I'll be able to go straight from here right to the throttle body, and then from that side, right into the turbo. Should be pretty simple. I'm gonna use this hole here for my top support for my intercooler bracket. I still have to design that in CAD and cut it out and weld it. The final part that needs to be addressed is the center section brace where the hood latch attaches. It's just a support, it goes down to the bottom and it also holds this piece here. Um, it's hitting the intercooler. I have the intercooler pushed back as far as I can get it. I slotted the intercooler bracket up and down and then forward and backwards. I actually offset the slots so that you could turn it around either way in case you needed to move the intercooler forward or backward. So even with it maxed out, it's still hitting and I can't get that part on. So I'm going to have to fabricate another piece that's going to clear this intercooler. So I'm going to have to go up to the store and grab a 4 inch hole saw real quick. It's going to be the easiest way to get that brace cut. I could use the plasma cutter but that's just going to make a mess. I want to have a nice clean, clean cut so the hole saw should work pretty decent. Okay, it's day two here on the intercooler project. So I went to the hardware store last time and got a four inch hole saw. So now I'm gonna cut the two holes for the inlet and the outlet in the radiator core support. I'm gonna measure down two and a quarter inches from the top of this hole here to the center and that's where I'm gonna drill my four inch hole. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Since I'm using a four inch hole saw, if I go down two and a quarter inches, that's gonna leave me enough room to be able to still use this hole here for the mounting bracket for the top of the intercooler support. I'm gonna pre-drill this out with a different bit and then I'm gonna use the four inch hole saw to make the hole through this bracket and through the core support. I'm gonna make sure we're gonna use a little bit of cutting fluid on this, a little WD-40 to keep the tool cool. Now the issue that I'm running into is the hole saw isn't deep enough to go the whole way through that. So I'm going to have to cut this out with the grinder and then keep punching the hole through.
Okay, so now that I made this intercooler bracket down here on the bottom adjustable, I can move this up and down to get it perfectly centered where I just cut that hole. So I'm gonna center that up, tighten it up, and I'm also, before final assembly, gonna smooth out these inner edges here and make them flat. That way the intercooler coupler can't get ripped or worn through on that sharp metal. Okay, I'm gonna mark these edges here. I'm gonna cut that down and out and smooth it all in. Same thing up here, just to get rid of these sharp corners. Okay, so as you can see here, I got this side all smoothed out. No sharp edges. This is what it looked like before. Sharp edges, some metal sticking out. So you just wanna get that all smooth like that. I might even put some rubber around the inside of this so it can't cut the boot, the coupler that goes through there. So a tool that I like to use to deburr round holes is this tool here. It's just a deburring tool. You can get them from McMaster Car. It works pretty well for trying to deburr sheet metal or aluminum, especially in round holes. Okay, so here is the upper bracket on the truck. I'm not 100% happy with this, so I'm gonna pull it off, and there's a couple more cuts that I wanna put in here. I'm gonna put some more one inch circles in here just to add more airflow. It kinda seems like it might be blocking it a little bit. Okay, so here's version two. As you can see, I put some arches in there for where the intercooler mounts, just to give it a little bit of clearance. I also knocked off a quarter inch where the intercooler fits the bracket. And I also added a bunch more holes to increase the airflow and make some L brackets for the top. And that's gonna finish up the top intercooler bracket Next, it's going to be making some pieces that will bolt this upper and lower support together just to add some strength. Came out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, well, that's going to wrap up the video for today. I think I might break this up into two parts. This has already been two days, so this will be part one. And next time, we'll work on getting the hood bracket made, getting the charcoal canister relocation bracket made and also the coolant overflow bracket made. Here's how it looks with everything buttoned up. Looks pretty nice. I still want to paint everything black. Some radiator paint. Something that won't affect the thermal quality of the intercooler. Okay, so check back next time for part two of how to put an intercooler in a C10 pickup. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.